What's up guys, Jeff here, making videos, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do so, because it supports the channel, and you know, hey, where are you going? Look at me when I'm singing to you. Anywho, we have recently crossed the 60,000 subscriber count mark, thank you guys so much for that, and we are on the road to 100,000 million fish. But anyhow, we are here making videos on the reef keeping hobby and fish. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 fish that are semi-aggressive that can go in a saltwater tank. You guys have listened to me ramble long enough, so let's jump into it. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 saltwater fish are of the aggressive or semi-aggressive, not aggressive, semi-aggressive, is the yellow tail damsel. Now, damsels have a wrap. They are not the friendliest fish in the world, and they are also some of the hardiest. So typically, new hobbyists fall into this trap of their first fish going into their new saltwater tank that they just set up happens to be a damsel. And that usually doesn't end up going very well. Even though that these fish are relatively inexpensive and easy to keep, they are definitely semi-aggressive and that makes them a little bit of a recipe for disaster. They are omnivores by diet. They are considered reef safe, grow upwards of two and a half to three inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number nine, we have the flame hook fish. This guy is also of the semi-aggressive temperament, easy to care for, carnivore in his diet, and is reef safe with caution. So this is a fish that you may want to observe in a tank with other invertebrates or even corals prior to adding it to your tank because it can be a little bit of a nipper. Uh, they are incredibly interesting fish though, even though that they kind of have this semi-aggressive attitude. Uh, quite often they are found perching around the rocks and are very observant of what is going on around them. They grow upwards of four inches and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Check them out, the flame hawkfish. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 semi-aggressive saltwater fish is the orchid dotty back. Now this is probably one of the most vibrant purple fish in the hobby and definitely a very interesting fish by behavior. They are considered easy to care for, semi-aggressive in their temperament, carnivore in their diets. So they love the meats, consider reef safe, grow upwards of three inches, and require a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. Coming in at number seven on our top 10 saltwater fish that are of the uh, semi-aggressive, we got the emperor angelfish. Now this fish is a beauty, especially in its juvenile 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 <laughs> what's happening even though this fish is incredibly beautiful he does have a little bit of a temper and they also are a fish that you may not want to put in your reef tank because they are definitely reef safe with caution and i would err on the side of caution with this guy they are moderate care level and omnivores with their diet they grow upwards a foot three inches and require a minimum tank size of 220 gallons. This is definitely a beautiful fish, but one that I would probably only consider for a fish only, fish only with live rock system. We in that number six, we got bit old bad Mr. Ocellaris clownfish. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so, Mad Hatters. Why are you putting the clownfish on the top 10 semi-aggressives? Because they are semi-aggressive fish. It has a lot to do with their breeding behavior because the most aggressive fish, let's say you got two in a tank, the most aggressive will end up becoming the female because all clownfish are born male. And they need to figure this out so they can make little baby clownfish. And I have the Ocellaris clownfish here, but really... All of them are semi-aggressive. And there's even probably uh, clownfish that are way more aggressive than Ocellaris, which probably should have been on this list, but meh. This guy is easy to care for, semi-aggressive in his temperament, omnivore with his diet, is considered reef safe, grows upwards of three inches, and requires a minimum tank size of 10 gallons. Coming in at number five on our top 10 saltwater fish that are of the semi-aggressive, we got the Shoal Tang. Now, this guy is a big old Bertha. It's going to mess some stuff up in your tank. 
And most tangs are of the semi-aggressive temperament, but some just a little bit more than others. And this guy definitely falls into this category. It is considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive in its behavior. Herbivore in its diet is considered really safe. Grows upwards a foot and a half and requires a minimum tank size of 250 gallons. Coming in at number four, new price tag. Getting up there. I cannot believe the price tag on this fish. They used to sell for like 20 bucks. Now you can't find them. It seems to be for less than 100 The Black Cat Basilette. Now, Basilettes are definitely a semi-aggressive fish, even though this guy has probably all of the colorations and a little bit more that of the Orchid Dotty Back. Uh, he definitely packs a punch with his attitude. He is considered easy to care for, has a semi-aggressive temperament. Carnivore in his diet is considered reef safe, grows upwards of 4 inches and requires a minimum tank size of 30 gallons. And coming in at the number three spot, big old bad Mr. Flame Angel. Now, this is probably one of the most desirable of the dwarf angels out there. And, you know, I got to say, it's one of probably the prettiest. I definitely have an affection for this fish, but they are definitely a fish that comes with a little bit of baggage. This fish is a fish that recently was dropped off to me because we figured out with a customer that he actually was chewy chomping on his $400 Wilsoni. And he decided that he liked his Wilsoni a little bit more, so we ended up finding a new home for this guy. And not to mention, he's a little bit of punk. You only want to put one of these guys in a tank uh, because unless you got a ton of volume, it's probably not going to end very well. But even though that this guy comes with a lot of baggage, people still try to put him in their reef tanks. And I know why, because it is an absolute beautiful fish. And there's always that hope that maybe, just maybe, this time it's going to be different. They are moderate care level, semi-aggressive in their temperament, omnivore with their diet, reef safe with caution, and grow upwards of four inches. Definitely a fish that you only want to put one per tank, depending on your water volume. If you're north of 250, maybe you can get away with two, but the minimum tank size for this guy is 70 gallons. And if you have a 70 gallon tank and you're trying to put this guy in there, I definitely would only put one. That's one dwarf angel per tank. Check them out. The flame dwarf angelfish. Coming in at number two, we have the blue griddled angelfish. This is probably my most favorite angelfish. And I would consider setting up a fish only just for this guy alone. He is considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive in his temperament. Omnivore with his diet is not. Nope. Not reef really safe, grows upwards of one foot and requires a minimum tank size of 180 gallons. This guy is known for nipping at SBS corals, LPS corals, softies, and even some invertebrates such as clams. So definitely not a fish that you want to put in your reef tank uh, because it's going to end in heartbreak. And that's why if I were ever to set up a fish-only system, this is definitely a showstopper of a fish that I would consider for that type of a setup. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 saltwater fish that are of the semi-aggressive, the second tang of the day, the Achilles tang. This guy's expert only, semi-aggressive. Herbivore with his diet is considered reef safe, grows upwards of eight and a half inches and requires a minimum tank size of 180 gallons. <laughs> 